Hey guys, this is your boy Dino okay, DL Pika. Welcome back to another video to my channel. As you can see from the title, we're back out with some Ruby, guys. Yes, I'm back uh, quicker than I thought uh, on Ruby. Uh, today we'll be checking out episode, well, episode or chapter 10, just to be more precise. <laughs> Volume 4, chapter 10. Kuyo, yu, kuro, kuro Yui? Kuro Yui? Kuro Yui? Is that the town that they were going to? Kuro Yui, I'm not sure. Uh, kuro Yui, that's the title of this chapter. Um, don't know what to expect. I mean, we obviously, um, both, um, Jean and Ruby, uh, have split up to take, uh, Crow. So Crow's in pretty bad condition. He's poisoned. He, the poison looks like it's spreading over his body as well. It's going to be too late if they don't get to him in time. So obviously, uh, there's two ways to go around. One is to go through the mountains, but Crow would not make it. Obviously, he's still it's going to be really hard so uh ruby and john i'm going to take him around uh even though it'll take longer they can at least carry him around and then um ren and nora will go the other way up in the mountains which i take it as quicker but it's going to be harder if they were to take crow with them so for now they've split up with each other however the end of the episode kind of shows a humongous footprint uh, what seems to maybe look like a grim, I'm not sure, but yeah, uh, <laughs> shit's gonna go down, so, yeah, I'm not gonna waste too much time talking about this, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this reaction. If you guys wanna go ahead, grab something to eat or drink, that's totally fine, you can go ahead and post a video, if not, that's fine, because I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this reaction. Oh, recording's fine, PC is fine, screen, that is... <laughs> Volume's doing okay, so let's get to this, shall we? Uh, and three, two, one, go. <laughs> Wait, let me see that part. Oh my god, why? <laughs> that is funny. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Ah, Oscar. Okay. Is he actually packing his bag to go? Oh, damn. No way. This is all part of Ospen's thing. You never know. This part is how it feels. I think leaving home is crazy. Going to the city is crazy. Okay, so at this point he's kind of convinced <laughs> that you know things has to be done. Everything you've told me is completely crazy. <laughs> it doesn't feel crazy anymore. It feels like I'm doing the right thing. Right. Okay. Damn. Well, I suppose that's good. No. Scary. It must be. Tr trust me. Not everyone's brave enough to pull this off. So you're brave enough already. Trust me. So it's understandable if you're scared about it. Trust me. <laughs> Not everyone is able to do it. You know. So props to you for your bravery. Oh, touch screen already. Oh, okay, I mean it's stupid thing. Ah. I'm assuming whatever weird magic this is doesn't come with an infinite supply of money. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll have to solve this one on your own. Oh shit. What do you mean? Oh no. Someone said Son of Okay. He's the oh no, he's the one oh no. He he's the, oh no. He's that other guy in the group, isn't he? Son of a it's him. I forgot his name, but Oh He He made it work? He just smashed the machine and it worked. Oh, so he just helped the kid out. Huh. Let such a small obstacle block your path. Huh. Okay, so I guess he hasn't realized um, who this kid is and the kid, you know, with Ospin of all things. Uh, because that's the thing, everyone there, obviously he and the others think uh, Ospin is dead, although they have been raising that question again and again 
are you sure that um uh are you sure that Ospin was killed right so <sighs> damn okay that man i felt who is he someone from my past someone who should not be taken lightly hmm Kuo Yui, Kuo Yui, okay. Okay, so they're going through the okay, it's pretty much abandoned for years now, you can tell. At least they can travel through on foot though with pro up there their arms must be aching like crazy though they've been climbing in for how long now any of these places look like a pharmacy it's honestly hard to tell yeah <laughs> how many years it looks like it's been out for like ben really didn't want to come here did he uh, didn't seem so do you know why I think I have a pretty good idea. I do as well. I have a pretty good idea why you didn't want to. Oh shit, wait. Oh, what the? Okay, what is that? Oh, that was a lotus? Okay. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, Mini Ren! <laughs> okay, so I. My assumption was right. Kuyo, uh. Kuo Yuri must have been his town uh, where he lived and it's destroyed right so I think there's some sort of memory he remembers of that of this of his hometown that he just doesn't want to revisit so I guess so we trying to catch a fish I found a flower on the water oh the flower yeah. oh I see oh Ren looks so cute look at that looks so innocent from Here. <laughs> but I'll tell you what you can do. Take this Leon and go find something nice for your father's return. He's been hunting for quite some time. I bet the journey's been very tiring, don't you? Oh, okay. Do you think you'll know what he wants? I think he wants a water flower in the garden. <laughs> Why did you have to inherit my sass? <laughs> he sounds very different as well, but then again, he's a kid, so he's gonna definitely sound different to how he is now. Damn. You know, I the weird thing is we get to see Ren so like, so like with a straight face a lot of the time. You you hardly see him smile, if you've noticed that. Yeah, you don't get to see him smile a lot. So him smiling as a kid is definitely a good side to see. Unknown side, I would say. <laughs> well, something just your size. Dang. Sake, please. Sake? <laughs> what the? I mean, there's a reason for that. <laughs> he looks so small. Huh? Really? Where'd you get that bread? I didn't see you pay for it, thief. No, look, it's all moldy. I think she got it from the trash. Let me see. Dang. <gasps> she bit me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow. Wait, you said Nora? Holy shit, I just realized. That looks like Nora. Oh my god, I did not realize that. Oh my god, that could be Nora, you know. She looks incredible. She looks a lot. She looks very similar to Nora. I just, it just hit me on the. Because the thing is, I'm watching this girl, right? 
And I'm just, in my mind, I didn't say it out loud, but in my mind, I'm like, I definitely have seen her somewhere. Definitely seen her somewhere. Did I see the heart, right? I'm just like, is this Noah? <laughs> like, are you, it just hit me. It just, I'm so slow with a lot of things, as you could, as you just witnessed right now. I'm very, very slow. So please, uh, you know, when it comes to realizing certain things in the show, it does take some time to sink in. So I do apologize for this. Dang, that's Nora. Wow. Wow, that is fucked up. Though. Oh damn, is that? Oh, oh yo, yo, that that beard bangs, fam. He's got a banging beard. I'm not gonna lie. Damn, he looks he looks pretty badass. I don't know why. Is happening here. I don't know if it's the facial hair, but he looks pretty badass. <laughs> Rin's done. Look at that. Do you wish to run with the rest of them? <laughs> Sometimes the worst action to take. Is taking no action at all. Dang, that that's deep for <laughs> I need to speak with the mayor. Damn, that's deep for The worst action to take is to take no action at all. Damn. That hits hard, guys. That really hits hard. <laughs> that does really hit hard. Nothing. We should get back to Crow. He doesn't look good as well. Come on, we had to do something. It's far off. Yeah, it sounds pretty far. I was gonna say, it's not anywhere close. Ren and Nora are still out there. I'm sorry. Huh? What? Oh, come on. I should have never dragged you guys into this. You didn't drag us in. We wanted to come. But you didn't know about Tyrion, about... Ruby. Mm -hmm. We lost... We lost Pyrrha. You lost her too. And... Oh, I would have thought hearing Pyrrha's name would get me used to it. You know, them saying we've lost Pyrrha. I thought I'd be used to it by now. I don't think I'll ever be used to it. Oh man, that hit so hard. Oh. Do you guys feel the same way? I mean, you guys must have watched all eight volumes by now, right? Do you guys feel the same way I am? <laughs> and Penny, and your team, and in a way, your sister. You're still here. Mm -hmm. Despite everything you've lost, and everything you could still lose, you chose to come out here. Because you felt like you could make a difference. You didn't drag us along. John gives a good pep talk. Gave us That's for sure. To you. <laughs> he gives a good pep talk. I, I like that about John. Right. Ah, looks like a nice family. So fuck, that scared me. Get up, we have to go. What? Now, right now, okay? Let's go. Oh Wait. my god, what the heck? God. What are you doing? We need to hurry. We can go to the safe house. No. I saw the beast. We need a huntsman. And you two need to leave. What? My god. What the actual Okay, darling. Everything's okay. Oh my lord. Oh my. You're kidding. You're kidding. As soon as she says you're going to be okay, you're fine. She just gets smacked. <laughs> oh my lord. 
That is the worst thing that could happen. You know what? It, it kind of reminds me of Attack on Titan first episode. This is the first episode where um, the guy picks up Eren and goes off running. And then Eren's like, look, my mom's stuck under the house, right? And then that's when he sees the Titan picking up his mother, snapping it in half and then eating her, right? It got, <sighs> witnessing a, a mother's death. Like, a child witnessing a mother's death, uh, it's the war, it's one of the worst things ever. Like, it's traumatizing as well. I can imagine how traumatizing it is. Goodness gracious. Just like that. Yeah, the father had to take the son and get away. What? You can't just stand there, Lev. What? Where's mother? Look, I am. He seriously hurt as well. What's going on? Where is mother? What is it? A grim? I would assume it's a grim. Oh god! Damn, he seriously hurt. Why? You have to run. No, no, please, get up! To me, son. Oh my god. You have to be brave now. Do you understand? Dang. No, please, please, I can't. Yes, you can. He gives his he gives his po I guess dagger to him. I was gonna say pocket knife. No, Take it's a dagger. Action, son. Oh wow. Oh my god, no man, this hits hard! Oh no, that is a grim. Oh my god. That hardly does anything, let's be honest. But I'm... He knows her. You know what it is? Um, I understand the situation they're in and he tells his son to, you know, be brave, take action. You know, you know when times like this come, you got no other choice but to take action, right? So I understand where the father's coming from, but if I want to look from the kid's point of view, it sucks that a kid had to go through this at such a young age. You know, you don't deserve this. It sucks to see Ren going through this traumatic event as a kid, nonetheless as well. You know, it's it's bad enough as it is when you go through it in a, you know, when you're older, of course. But as a kid, it's even worse, in my opinion. Dang. Yeah, it's grim. But how did they get into the city? How did they get into the... Oh, Noah! That is Noah. I, I can't imagine that's... That's why! That's why. Okay, it, it, now it, I'm thinking about certain things. And this is definitely Noah. Why I'm saying that is that in the last episode, um, Ren refused to go back to the town, right? And he said he's going to take the path to the mountain. And Noah said, uh, I'll make sure he gets there safe. I'll make sure I'll go with him and he's safe. Uh, we've always kept each other safe, right? So I, you see how close they are. And you would think, how were they this close? This this whole memory kind of explains that situation now. So, I can understand. I can see why Ren and Noah are so close with each other. I can see why. <coughs> Damn. That is scary looking as well. God, damn! I can imagine how scared the kid was. Whoa! Well, what? Oh my god, he. Oh, no way! That's crazy! Hey! We have to be brave. What just happened there? They show the lotus and then they show kind of like um, the force field around one's person, 
and I'm that person, right? Um, what is it called? Uh, you know where you have that force field where it deflects attacks from you, right? And after a certain attack, it just disappears. That's when it becomes dangerous for you. I forgot the name of it. I'll probably have to... Do it. <laughs> uh, I, I, it's just not coming to my mind straight away, but you get what I mean. I doubt it's a semblance. I don't know if his semblance woke up that young. I doubt it, but yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> he is a lot more pro even now. <laughs> okay. Oh! <laughs> Big boy run, take action. Oh, that is his semblance. That semblance that you just used. Okay. That is definitely his ability. Was he? Okay, so somehow... He was able to hide his and Noah's presence, right? Is that what it is? He's able to hide his presence? Or is he able to turn invisible? Because the, the, the Grim didn't notice at all. Like, I want to know what his semblance is. Uh, whether it's a semblance, his ability, I guess. Uh, please comment in the section below uh, what his ability is. Because I don't think Ren has ever spoken what, about what his semblance is. It would be nice to know. Like, to hide his identity, hide his, I guess, aura. Yeah, his aura. Maybe hide his aura. Or hide his uh, identity, in a way. I don't know. That's where the whole hammer comes from as well. It's okay. That explains why she's got a hammer as well. Yo, it's so symbolic, fam. Yo, everything makes so much more sense. Even the weapon she uses. That weapon. It's a hammer. That's what that's what her weapon is now. We we'll keep each other safe. <laughs> we always keep each other safe. Everything makes so much more sense. Oh, this is cute, man. My name's Naira. Shit. Okay. There you go. Him older. He's grown into a man. Look. <laughs> the easy path. Really. <laughs> Easy's no fun anyway. <laughs> you okay? Hmm. And you? I got you here, don't I? Ah, cheesy. With the sort of traumatic event that she went through, uh, she's a lot more upbeat than I thought she would be. Obviously, Ren definitely looks a lot more natural to me. No, I'm not saying she's not natural, but he definitely, I would, I almost would expect him to be like a lot more serious. You know, he has a straight face all the time. You don't get to see him smile as much. But with Noah, it's not like that. With the things that she went through, uh, she's a lot more upbeat than I thought. And that's that's a good thing. Don't get me wrong. Good thing. Hey! There's wind blowing out of this cave! Wind blowing out of the cave? Wait, that doesn't make sense. How is that possible? Think it might lead to the thief? I suppose there's only one way to find... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny. Yes, yes. Very funny. <laughs> it was. It was. Wait, what's that symbol? Hey, what's wrong? This is the symbol for Xion Village. Xion? But that's... That's the village where we found the Huntsman. It's weeks away from here. Th then why is it coming from the cave? Red? Wait! You're telling me this cave is a shortcut to the town? has happened here. Oh god. <laughs> I 
This is serious. Oh no, there's the exit. Okay, let's see what's there. I don't like the look of that. Oh my god, this scares me, bro. It had a few jump scares, man. I'm not gonna lie. This this episode had a few jump scares. Look at that. No. No. Oh my god, look at that. And I take it that's the town, I guess? Wow. Okay. Um, this episode definitely showcased us why, um, Ren and Noah are as close as they are. Definitely because of the past, as you could remember. Um, also Ren's semblance. That was, that was Ren, Ren's semblance, right? It has to be Ren's semblance. Um, where it looked like, it looked like he was able to, um, he was able to, um, like, disappear? Like, I don't know, it's, it's really hard to tell, like, whether he's able to, um, yeah, because what, whatever that semblance or his ability is, the Grimms was not able to detect him, like, like, as you can see, he it almost looked like he camouflaged himself. He, like, he went fully, he changed colour. Like, um, he didn't literally change colour, but from what it looked like, he uh, fully camouflaged himself. And all of a sudden, the Grimms can't detect him. And whoever he makes contact with are also camouflaged by that way. Don't know what exactly he's camouflaging. Is he camouflaging his... Um, His identity? Uh, is he uh, camouflaging his aura uh, so that the Grimms can't detect him? Are they camouflaging... Oh wait, oh wait, 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 wait. Grimms, Grimms are known to feed off negative emotions, right? Or, you know, because Grimms are pretty much monsters, negativity, all of that stuff, right? Does his ability... So if he uses that ability and Grimms can't detect him, does that mean he camouflages his fear of Grimms? Or any sort of negative emotion? I'm not sure. Like, it's hard for me to tell. Because that's the first time I've seen Ren Hughes's uh, um, semblance. I think when he was a kid and his semblance triggered, I think that was the first time he ever triggered his semblance, which is pretty cool. Whatever he did, the uh, the Grimms couldn't detect him, and that's pretty insane. It's almost like the Grimms can't detect these guys at all. Uh, so it's not like they become invisible straight away. I thought he made himself invisible, and so the Grimms can't detect him. No, it seems like he's camouflaged himself to suppress his aura or something. Something he suppressed something, and the Grimms can't detect him. It's not like he's invisible, but he's just camouflaged himself, and I like that part. Maybe they'll talk about it in general or in the next few episodes, maybe, but we'll have to wait and see. On that note, I shall end the video right here, guys. Thank you so much for watching my reaction to Ruby uh, Volume 4, Chapter 10 today. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Ho Sorry if it's a bit too long of a video. I spoke a bit too much, I guess. I do apologize. Um, if you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to smash the like button, comment and share the those good things so to see more content on me doing more. Um, Ruby reaction service in the future. However, you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button, join the DRP guild to so you won't miss a single video like this in the future. Whether it's reactions to Ruby, reactions to Margi, any other reactions, main content series you get to see on this channel. So, as always, guys, this is your boy Dina signing out. Have a nice day, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, so, yeah, until then, peace.